Hi, I'm Tanya from Lovely Greens and in this video you'll learn how to make this. My palette planter for planting up strawberries, although you could plant it up with whatever you like. Now the way that I came to this project and the way that I, I thought it up was I'm a fan of Pinterest and I'm a huge fan of strawberries. So when I was thinking last year of planting up strawberries in a container, I went to Pinterest for ideas and the most prevalent idea seemed to be taking a single pallet and then planting strawberries in the slats between the or along the front side of the pallet. Very clever idea, I really liked it, but I thought there were a couple of issues. First of all, erosion, so soil coming out from between the slats, and second of all, uh, having to water it all the time. And I wanted something that I wasn't too concerned about, you know, leaving for a day or two in between watering. So. I actually came up with this idea with using that same single pallet, so breaking it down into three pieces, three equal uh, pieces, and then reassembling it into a rectangular container which is filled with a combination of compost and farmyard manure. And as you can see, the strawberries in their second year are extremely healthy. The strawberries are coming on, they'll be ripe before long, and I imagine that I'll be able to keep these strawberries going for another year or two before having to plant them back up with new plants. The project is extremely easy. It takes two hours, more or less. You need that same single pallet. Uh, you do need to make sure that it's been heat treated opposed to chemically treated. So every single pallet has a stamp on it uh, and you'll want to look for the symbols HT. If you see the symbols DB on the stamp, then stay clear of it because it's been chemically treated with insecticides and you don't want that in your soil or in your strawberries. So once you have that sorted out, you've got your square uh, palette, then you'll need some tools. I use a jigsaw, uh, a, an iron uh, wedge, a mallet, hammer, a few other bits and bobs. But you could probably get away with just using a handsaw and screwdriver if, you, if that's all you have. Uh, you will also need a little bit of brute force. You, there's a little bit of pulling and tugging in this project, but if I can do it, you can do it. So follow me along on this video tutorial and good luck with making your own container. Now the first thing you'll want to do is count out the number of slats on the front side of your pallet. In this case, I have nine. And you don't really need to measure precisely, just make sure to cut so that you'll end up with three pieces that will be the same width in slats. So three pieces that have three slats in this case. And you don't really see me cutting the pieces that are in the center, but I do do that as well. Now once all of your cuts are made on the front side, you'll want to flip over the pallet and you'll be continuing to cut on the other side, so mirroring the cuts from the front side. So once you've made all the cuts, the pallet should break apart easily into three pieces. So just pull them apart and then turn them around so that the reverse side, the back side, is visible. And we're going to have to do a little bit of tidying up on the back before we proceed. So the first thing is pulling off those little slats that are on the back. You don't want to break them and you don't want to saw them because we're going to use them later on in the project. So gently pry them up. Any nails that are exposed in this, in this uh, project, just make sure to hammer them in. You don't need to remove them. Next, pull the center pieces off and set those aside. Now those blocks that you see being pulled off, those are going to be the feet later on. Hammer in any nails. 
And then on the centerpiece, you want to trim the sides there with the jigsaw so that they're flush with the sides of the, the slats. Next, we have to detach the feet. So the feet are the blocks that you removed off the centerpiece of the palette. They're pretty difficult to get off, so I really recommend that you get a hold of a, a metal wedge or chisel, and they'll make short work of the job. They'll go right through the nails. So the palette will actually provide you, if you have the large one that has nine slats, with four feet. Very handy. Once you've tidied up all the pieces, it's time to start building the container. Prop up all three sides as best you can, and then screw in the bottom into both sides of the container there. An electric screwdriver really helps. Next, use the slats left over from cleaning up the back sides of the pallet and create the sides. You'll have enough pieces, whole pieces, to actually do two slats on either end, but you'll need to use other pieces to finish it off. In this case, I just cut pieces of leftover bits of slats and then fix them on. You'll have plenty of extra wood. So you want to turn the planter over, there's Chibi's, couldn't let her get away without having her cameo. So turn your, your container over and it's time to attach the feet. There's no easy way to attach the feet from the inside, so what I recommend is driving a couple of screws in from the side of each of the, the feet. So I hammer them in a little bit and then screw them in with an electric screwdriver. And the planter that I made last year seems to be doing just fine and it's very sturdy. And that's pretty much it. The planter is finished. If there are any little bits of wood that are sticking out, you could just saw them off with your handsaw or jigsaw. You could paint this up if you wanted to as well. So how I planted mine up was I used a combination of wire and straw for the slats and then I filled it with farmyard manure and compost. And this is how my strawberries look today. Thanks for watching my tutorial on the strawberry palette planter. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to share your own experiences with making it, please leave me a comment in the form below. And if you'd like to see more Lovely Greens videos, please subscribe to my channel and you'll get regular updates as to when new videos are uploaded. Thanks again and bye for now.